It's not a Sunday, but the United Reformed Church in Woking is a hive of activity. All of the churches in the town centre are hubs of the local community. We try to be open, uh, places where people can come and receive a welcome. We do all sorts of things. We have lots of youth provision in the church, youth clubs, drop-in centres. We have provision for the elderly. The church is one of a number near the town centre and there's a shortage of parking. So Woking Borough Councils always exempted people attending Sunday services or Friday prayers at the mosque from paying. The National Secular Society says that's not fair and they're taking the council to court. We don't think the uh, local authorities should be subsidising uh, worshipping or church going, um, particularly using taxpayers' money. For us, this is really an important point of principle that local authorities should be treating all citizens equally, regardless of their religious beliefs. Woking's mosque is the first purpose built mosque in the country. It was built in 1889, long before the shopping centre, and the town centre built up around the local churches. That's why the council say they felt it wasn't fair to make them pay to pray. Initially parking on Sundays was free. We brought in parking charges and thought, well, we were then disadvantaging people from faith groups that were actually in town centre versus faith groups that were outside the town centre. And the council then set the policy there of allowing worshippers uh, to park for free. Offering free parking for worshippers costs the council around £50,000 a year. But they say that's a small price to pay for their contribution to the community. Woking Borough Council's not the first council to offer free parking to worshippers, but it is the first to be taken to court over it, and that means any outcome will have implications across the country. Angela Walker, BBC News.